With so many young students sticking to private or rather remote learning in the fall, parents are relying on fall sports as an outlet. But some argue that may not happen safely because of New York City's Parks Department's current permit policy. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more now from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Playing soccer is what 11 year old teammates Natalia and Una have been looking forward to. Play outside and have time to be with other friends and run around. We've just been stuck inside for so long. Ready to kick off the new school year with their soccer club, Brooklyn City FC, until youth sports organizations received an email from the city's parks department stating, due to health and safety concerns, it will not be issuing fall athletic field permits, but fields remain open on a first come, first serve basis. Without the permits, then it's a free for all at the field. So there's a few things. One, you, you have no idea who's on the field, who's crossing paths. Founder of the soccer club, Jesse DiLorenzo, is among a group of parents, coaches, and elected officials calling on the city to reverse that decision to issue conditional permits that can be revoked if the health metrics change for any reason. And we have hundreds of thousands of kids in this city who belong to leagues, who look forward to these sports. These representatives in a letter to the city stating permitting these activities ensures they are organized, socially distanced, and supplied with proper PPE. Arguing state guidance has allowed low-risk youth sports in phase three reopening early July. Not being able to do this in an organized way is really disappointing. One nonprofit, South Bronx United, created a petition pointing out its program keeps teens off the street with mentors. The kids we spoke to say it's more than just a game. To have fun with your friends, learn a lot of sportsmanship, learn respect. All joining in on a clear Let message to the play. city. Let kids play. The Parks Department would not make someone available to go on camera, but in a statement said it will continue to reassess its ability to issue permits later in the fall. In Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And today, Governor Cuomo expanded guidance specifically for schools, saying lower risk sports such as tennis, cross country, <clears throat> soccer, and field hockey could practice and play statewide beginning September 21st.